Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing Comet Soft Cleanser with bleach to see how well it removes bacteria from my home. Today's video is a viewer request. My viewer John mailed me this Comet Soft Cleanser with bleach. John said that this is his go-to cleaner for the kitchen and he wanted to know how well it removed bacteria. So John will test that for you today. So in order to test how well this Comet removes bacteria from my home, what I'm going to do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label it A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and I'm going to swab various areas around my home, like my kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink, and toilet rim. And I'm going to place those samples in a section labeled B for before. Then I'm going to clean according to the Comet's instructions, which we're going to get to in a moment. I'll swab the area again and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. So this way we'll be able to see how much bacteria is on a surface before and after cleaning with this Comet product. Let's read about the Comet Soft Cleanser with bleach. The first thing that I noticed when I read the bottle, nowhere does it mention at all that it can remove bacteria. Now this is surprising to me considering that they say with bleach, but I've looked and I don't see anywhere where it mentions anything about being able to remove bacteria. They just consider themselves to be a cleanser. Let's just read the back. It says Comet Soft Cleanser with Bleach. You can use it on countertops, kitchen sinks, stoves, toilets, tubs, tiles. Okay, it says it can uh, clean tough stains, greasy soil, uh, dried on food, grease cooked on food, rust, and bleaches out tough stains and it cuts through tough soap scum. It says it's effective on porcelain, stainless steel, fiberglass, a whole bunch of different things. Let's read how we're supposed to use it. Directions for use are shake before use, flip the cap open, apply directly to kitchen or bathroom surfaces or onto a damp sponge. Rub surfaces gently, rinse or wipe clean. For tougher stains, let stand up to one minute. Wipe and rinse. Okay, so there's no directions here that state how we're supposed to use it to remove bacteria. Oftentimes if a product is made specifically for bacteria, it'll give me a sit time. It'll say spray the area or wipe the area and let it remain wet for one to 10 minutes, then rinse. So this is interesting, it doesn't have that. Now considering it says for tough stains, let's stand up to a minute. I'm not testing stains here. So I think I'm going to do just what it says is to apply it, rub it, and rinse or wipe clean with no sit time. Since it does have bleach in it, we do need to be a little bit careful uh, getting it on clothing and stuff like that, so I'll be cautious with all that. Um, I normally don't use bleach products in my home. I know when I tested bleach in another video, and I tested the Comet powder in the toilet bowl actually already, um, I stated that we're just not a big bleach family here. I'll use bleach for major illnesses. Uh, we're talking stomach bugs or a serious respiratory illness. Um, but other than that, I don't normally use bleach in my home. I don't feel it's necessary to use bleach all the time. It's just a personal preference. For my home, I find other uh, disinfectants and sanitizers that work just as well as my bleach test. So I also have a septic system, so I'm a little cautious about how much bleach goes down my drain. I do not want to disrupt the flora in my leach field. But we're most certainly going to test this today because John mailed it to me and we'll see how it goes. Now it did say you can use a damp sponge. I'm going to use a paper towel so I don't have to waste sponges on the different areas because I don't want to cross contaminate from the kitchen sink to the bathroom. So I am going to use paper towels. Also I'll use a spray bottle of water for the rinsing part. All right. So let's see how well Comet Soft Cleanser with Bleach removes bacteria even though it doesn't make any claims to in my home.
Now for some results. The kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. So the Comet Soft Cleanse with Bleach did a great job of removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria, but there's still quite a bit of bacteria in the after section. So the Comet Soft Cleanse with Bleach did an eh, okay job at decreasing the bacteria in my kitchen sink drain. The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, there's just one bacterial colony. So the Comet Soft Cleanse with Bleach did a great job removing the bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, there's about five or so tiny, small bacterial colonies. So the Comet Soft Cleanse with Bleach did a great job of removing the bacteria from my toilet rim. So overall, the Comet Soft Cleanse with Bleach did a good job of removing the bacteria from around my home. It had a little bit of a difficulty with the kitchen sink drain. I've seen that happen before where some products just have a difficult time removing that amount of bacteria, um, but that's the only spot that I really got tripped up. Since this product said it also removes soap scum, I decided to give it a test in my shower with a very dirty shower. I do let my shower get really dirty on purpose in order to give these products a really strong test. I don't like when I watch a video where someone tests a cleaning product and the shower or the bathtub is absolutely clean and they're like, it works. I wanna see a really dirty tub and then I wanna see how well the product works. So when I do shower or bathtub testing, I have a little bit of rating system that I use on my own, especially since I have a shoulder injury and rubbing and scrubbing can be very difficult for me. After applying the product, can I just wipe it clean? Do I have to rub? Do I have to scrub with my scrubby brush? Or do I have to call in someone else in my home, my husband or one of my kids, because I can't make a dent in any of the dirt removal? For the Comet Soft Cleanser with bleach, Wiping did not work, rubbing didn't work, and I really did rub hard. Scrubbing with my scrubby brush, got rid of some of the soap scum on the base on the floor of the um, shower, and I probably would have had to have called in my husband or one of my boys to really give it a good scrubbing if I wanted it to be pristine. However, it was able just to wipe, very lightly wipe, the soap scum off the glass door. That was rather impressive. So while I wasn't impressed with its ability to remove the dirt and soap scum from like the floor of the shower, but it did do a great job at just wiping off the soap scum off the glass door. As for the scent of this product, it smells like bleach. There is no fragrance covering up the scent at all. It is just a bleach scent. It is strong. Um, when you're using it in a small bathroom, great idea always to have your bathroom vent on or your window open um, because it does smell like bleach. If bleach scent bothers you, I wouldn't use this. If bleach doesn't bother you, you won't have a problem with it. I do like that it's a scratch-free cleanser. That's important, I think, when you're cleaning some delicate uh, materials. You don't want scratches or pits or divots in them. So this is a good choice if you need a scratch-free cleanser. So I think the Comet Soft Cleanser with Bleach did a good job removing bacteria around my home, even though it didn't make any claims to be able to remove bacteria. It's got the power of bleach in it, and it did a great job removing the bacteria. So thank you, John, for mailing me the Comet Soft Cleanse with Bleach. I enjoyed testing this product and I hope you're happy with the results. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list or you can mail me something. My email address is in the description below. Send me an email. Let's have a conversation about the product. It might be something that I have in queue. It might be something that I've already tested or it might be something that I just don't have the ability to test in my home. And if it's something that I can do, we'll talk about the time frame that I have for testing and then I'll give you my mailbox address so you can mail it to me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.